thing was going on in there. Um, I was hearing a lot of rumors of things that happened in there, but like for me personally, I did not uh, join in in that chat. I did not uh, get involved with them people. So but, you didn't read, you didn't even spend much time, you just kind of joined it and then never really went back. Is that kind of the story? Yeah, I just joined and uh, didn't talk much in the chat. Um, we're going around that someone uh, that I guess they was a moderator or something they was posting uh, videos what kind of videos person, what kind of videos were they posting child molestation videos oh really inside I, that server well even at the time I said that's bullshit I don't believe it now and I didn't believe it then I still think the whole thing was a fucking setup. I don't know who set it up, but I believe the whole purge was all fucking bullshit. I don't know if fucking deny the lie, aka pure truth. Fucking young probably told him what to say, threw him under the fucking bus. Freddie did that. I already got that part one out to see what Freddie threw him under the fucking bus. But uh, he didn't see nothing. He only heard shit, so he has no fucking clue. But fucking Nathan jumped right on that. Now, this was nine months ago, right? Long before they pick up the big pedo shit. It's all fucking retarded, man. Yes. Wow. I believe that's one of the reasons why. why. Why people got... Well, and so I guess we'll go on to say... I see. Well, I'll talk more about how they actually try to set up servers to get taken down because I saw that happen with Grace's server. So um, you had your account terminated, right? Uh, even though you never participated in that chat, you had your. When did that happen? And what that what happened. was it like? Did you get a notification or? It happened yesterday night when I was talking to somebody in the truth chat. And it just automatically shut shut me off and uh, disabled my account. No warnings, no mention of anything wrong. You know, they didn't even tell me that. They just said disabled the account. And then what? How are you back on there now? I just created a new Discord account and created a different server, but the truth chat is still available. So. Leader yesterday was a Goyan Battalion server, and I believe that is the root of the problem here. You mean the Goyan Battalion server itself is the root of the problem? Yes. Yeah. Uh, in in this case, although that server isn't the one of the ones listed in the article I read from Verge, would you uh, characterize that server from either what you heard or what you saw as being neo-Nazi or alt-right? I wouldn't say it was an alt-right server. It wasn't a mainstream alt-right server. And uh, what kind of things do they talk about in there that might be anti-establishment? I mean, did they talk about false flags and stuff in there? Were they mostly talking about Jews? Or what, what was kind of the... I know you said you didn't really spend much time reading it, but what did you hear as far as what they were talking about in there? They were focusing more on the... Israel and the Jewish communities and uh, it's focused on how the politics there are corrupt. Okay. Uh, we have Net we have Net and Yahoo. It was talking they were definitely talking about him. So there was a bunch of stuff about Israel, which I think we we should be allowed to have legitimate dissent about. Were there uh, inflammatory statements about Jews or saying how Jews run the world or anything like that? Yeah, I would believe that there was some talk of that. So there was that kind of stuff. So maybe he didn't even say he saw them. He said, "I believe there was." Come on, man. Jesus fucking Christ! I got to stop this. Right? It's fucking ridiculous. It's too fucking bad. It really is. Well, the way it is, play the whole fucking thing. But that is what somebody would consider neo-Nazi. And your account yeah. got deleted, and a number of other people it, from my chat. And some very... Nine months later, there's a fucking hearing about terrorism in Congress, right? How long they've been pushing this fucking bullshit. 
in Congress. What does the senator pull up at the fucking hearing? Can you believe it? The Washington Post as if he was holding up evidence. It was in the Washington Post yesterday. These groups are gravitating to these platforms and uh, they're planning terrorist acts. How fucking ridiculous is that? So fucking stupid. The nine people were also in that server and also had their accounts terminated and also without saying anything themselves that was controversial. So it seems like just being members of that particular server, in the case of the people I know who have been terminated, was the reason their accounts were terminated. And exactly. you, you had to make, you had to go connect a whole different email address and stuff, right, to come back to Discord? Yes. How did the server stay up? And we're going to get to you, Freddie, sorry. How did the server stay up if your account was terminated, if you're the host of the server? How does that work? See, um, I don't, I have no clue on how, you know, Discord does it, but I know that Discord disables the account of the people and they don't terminate the server. It's not the issue. And you were still able to come in as the administrator? Like, who's the administrator if the person who created it doesn't exist anymore? Since you had to come back as a different email address. Casper the Friendly Ghost, man. It's a uh, free zone. Anyone is, you know, there's no administrator anymore. Really? So no, ha nobody can... <laughs> there's no, there are no moderators? So... It there are a couple. There are a couple, and ha who can who has the authority to make moderators though? If nobody owns the chat, no one. Uh, no one. Oh, but there are moderators left over. Is what you're saying? Are there moderators yes. left over? Oh wow! But they can't out. make people moderators. They can't do anything. They can only kick and ban people. Huh, how fucking weird! Oh, that's really bizarre. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's about the fucking most honest thing you've fucking said in the last ten years. And like I said, I had some people who can't join me in this chat, um, but who are members of my Discord, never made trouble of any kind, who also were totally deleted, who would never yes. in anybody's mind be considered neo-Nazis or alt-right, and they were also terminated. So that's what's going on. Okay, I'm going to go to F and Freddy. How are you doing, okay. Freddie? And you uh, didn't get deleted, but you started noticing problems with your Discord. Well yeah, I, I've been having some problems, but you know what's funny, um, Denny? I joined your server like uh, 36 hours ago, and never. Well, I've had problems with Discord back in the day, um, doing some weird kind of. Uh, I don't know if a bot got stuck to me or what, but I'd be in voice chats and we'd be talking about heavy things, and all of a sudden my mic would get cut, and everybody else could talk, and then I would talk about like uh, benign things like a baseball game and not have my mic cut. But as soon as I went back into a hard topic, discussing it with other people, I would get cut. It was bizarre. It was like having a, um, a sensor bot stuck to me. But I joined Denny's, um, Denny's chat. Deny. I got a Den link deny, deny the lie. Oh, de deny. Deny the lie. I, I joined your chat like 36 hours ago. I know a few people in there and whatnot. Uh, didn't participate too much, but... Um, like I say, I was uh, halfway through the day yesterday. I noticed um, I, I'm into, um, I won't say exposing Zionism, but I like to educate people on it. And uh, I, I, I personally feel 